Good morning. I even put some earrings on this morning. <laughs> How are you guys today? I am um, glad that you're here with me on another Relax and Paint. I am um, thinking about the things that you might want to see, and I'm enjoying the time that we've been having together. And I'm thinking about what I was sharing with some of my friends recently, and my husband and I talked about, is that we look at gloom and doom and the turmoils that we're going through, and we should not be seeking those in our thought process, but we should be seeking sunshine. And I just shared that, and I thought, when you wake up in the morning and you see sunshine out there and you think about what your day is going to be like and instead of thinking, oh, I can't make it through this day, I want you to think about, I have a new day and who am I going to meet? Who am I going to call and say I miss you today or how are you doing today? Who am I going to make smile today? So I'm looking for the sunshine, which brings joy and happiness, right? I have one hair out there somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, I I look pretty bright this morning, don't I? Anyway, let's um, let's let, let me tell you something I was thinking about today. I like poppies, and I do all kinds of poppies. And there's some simple poppies, and then there's some poppies that are really elegant. And by the way, I have stroke study number nine poppies that you can download and get that I'm doing uh, coming up here real soon, which I don't know when you're going to be watching this. It might already have happened, but um, I put some poppies on this glass Dollar Tree jar, okay? And it's a little canister. I thought it was kind of fun. You could put ribbon around this and put a candle in it um, and not put the lid. So there's all kinds of fun things. But I put a white band around this and then I painted some really simple poppies. Look at this. All right, and see how they have the yellow in them? So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to kind of show you how I do a quick and easy poppy? And I even outlined, see that little outline? All right, so you're taking a deep breath this morning and you're thinking about good thoughts and you're thinking about, um, am I going to have time today? Make time today. Do you hear me? Make time. Listen, we all have talent in us. And sometimes being creative makes us be able to handle all the things that we have to deal with so that we can relax and just feel the peace on earth. All right. Especially when holidays start coming. <laughs> We need some peace on earth. So I have put out, I've been painting here this morning already some. And so I thought I'm going to keep that plate and let's just paint a little bit together this morning. Does that sound fun? Okay. All right. So anytime you're stressing when you practice painting with me, I want you to just let your hang, arms hang down, your fingers go like this with your fingers and let it all drain out of your fingers and then take a deep breath and start again, all right? Because if you're saying, I can't do it, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> you know how many times people say, it does not work for me, you're Donna Dewberry. You know what? I didn't know how to paint. I told myself this at my dining room table and I just practiced and painted so much that now I can do it really easily, all right? So just practice that's my encouragement to you. Okay, so I'm going to go to the overhead camera, which you can kind of see up there. And I'm at my home studio. I'm not traveling yet. I will be traveling some of these next few weeks. So I'm, I'm figuring out how to get some of these done so we can work on them. Okay, now what I am missing is some yellow. See that? I got the yellow and the red. And then that's a half poppy. So I'm going to do this poppy. And this puppy. Okay. And then on another week, I'm going to work on some fern and stuff. So, all right. So I have put, I'm just going to use the red, oops, and the yellow. A lot of yellow. I put a little bit of licorice out. Um, and I want to show you that you can get 
large bottles and small bottles, two ounce and eight ounce. Did you know on uh, onestroke.com? So www.onestroke.com, you can get multi-surface, has a sealer in it, glass, ceramic, metal, indoor, outdoor, canvas, wood, everything. So in one paint, so I don't have to use my enamels or my regular acrylics or my outdoor paint. I've got it all in one paint. So at, at onestroke.com, we have um, multiple sizes, not every single thing comes in eight, but more and more are coming in eight ounces, okay? Especially with white, colors like that that you use a lot. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, using a 16 flat, which I've wet and I lay on a paper towel and I'm gonna grab the red. This is apple red, multi-surface. And then I just grab yellow on one side, you see that? So let's come down a little bit more. So I'm gonna come here and I can get that shape I want, push down really hard and stand up. So if I go over this, I want you to see what happens. If I push down over it again, it takes off some of that brightness I had, but yet it did bring the yellow to there. All right, so let's see again. I'm going to pick up more yellow. And let's see, I'm going to come here. All right, over here and pull down. Now, one thing that helps you is if you realize everything is going to that one spot, then that helps you too. So I picked up red on both sides, grabbed a little bit more yellow. Let's leave the yellow up and see what happens. I've got one there, one there. So this one that comes here is I can push down hard. This is a flat number, a flat number 16. See how it just gives you automatic yellow, gives you some pretty shading. Now I'm going to push down here with the paint on the other side and I'm going to turn the brush a little bit and come to there. And more red. Push down and stand up all right now i think i shadowed over that and so i don't know if you saw that really well but let's go over here i'm going to do that again so i kind of do here's a chop 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 these two are the same that's that way then i have one down here and one coming there in the center all right so I'm going to touch here, push, uh, and stand up. What I hope y'all get to do is think about this during the day. If you don't have time in the morning to paint, I want you to think about what you want to paint it on. Run by the Dollar Tree and pick up a piece because you can wipe it off and paint it again if it's glass. All right, so push, stand up. Oh, that's too much funny, you can't see. All right, so I don't have much color in here, but I can go back on top of this again. Go get yellow and red, red more. See how thick the paint is? Push and stand up. And I don't care if there's ridges, especially when I'm doing on glass, because it just gives it more texture. All right, so instead of all of this, I have pushed and then stand up, stood up. Uh, and then this last one on both sides, I twisted it. So turn your place a, a piece around and then push down and stand up and you won't have to twist the brush. That might make it easier for you, okay? Now, I'm gonna do a piece of one, like a half, I mean a side view, side view. All right, so I'm going to put a dot here. I'm lifting this so it doesn't have a glare. All right, so this is um, the back. I did one. So lots of pressure. Pressure, two. Pressure, three. See, so it's got a little bit of yellow because it's on the other side. Now, if I really want it to stand out, I kind of wipe off and then just grab yellow because I want to do a couple in front. So right here, I push down, 
and I stand up one in front and maybe one over here. A little bit more yellow and put that on there. So one's here and one's there. Now what happens guys is when you go over the second time you take it all away. So um, so you might want to just come in here and restroke by picking up more paint. All right. And you can use a darker red, like berry wine, with the apple red and get some bright colors. Now, this is a basic, quick, and easy. Anybody can do just practicing that comma stroke push and stand up. All right. So I'm going to just show you really quick that I put in on the chisel. Watch this. I stand up, got too much shadow. Stand up. And I pull the stem. So watch, I'm standing here. You can do a little bit of a wave. They're tall and they usually don't have the greenery right now, but you'll see some artists put green in there too on their turn. So I'm going to come on in my next segment and show you different fern, different fern leaves, different things I do to make quick and easy leaves. All right. So I want to show you that I can pick up my one script liner and I can dab in the middle here with these quick little poppies. You can put these poppies on shirts. You can put them on, on all kinds of projects, glass, mirrors. All right. And sometimes I put a little bit of black peeping through like it's in the center of that one. All right. Now you can stop right there. But let me grab my script liner and show you that I have something I like to do, which I did on the glass, is I made inky licorice with my two script liner. So the center was the one, which is really short, and some people think the one makes it where it um, is thinner, but actually the two gets, it's like a fountain pen, it holds the paint, and it gets uh, thinner and smaller at the end. So I come off of this plate, like rolling it, and getting it really thin. Now I want to just see, look how I was loose and easy on that. So look what I do. I like to let it dry first, but I can put a few little accents. I'll show you the difference. And I would love for y'all to come on and share with me on our Facebook group. So come join. Donna Dewberries with an S Facebook group. No, Donna Dewberries one stroke group. All right. Oh, that's still wrong. Okay. Donna Dewberries official because lots of people make Donna Dewberry sites. Official one stroke group. And what we are doing is we share lots of painting and we you can ask them to give you ideas and you can see when I have Facebook lives twice a week with special deals just for my members. Okay. Now look, I take just the tip of the brush and I'm loose, 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 loose. Now it's hard to be loose. Do you believe that? It's hard. So I want you to just, um, easily do that. Now look at the difference. See the difference in that and that? I put a little bit of yellow in here and that's simple, but look at the difference. Okay, I want to show you really quick down here in the corner. All right, so this is what people want to do. They want to be solid. They, it's hard to be loose because people want to do this when they think they're being loose. All right, now this is what I did when I was being loose. 
I came up and I came down. So it's not waving all the way around, it's loose. All right, so take the brush, barely hold it, and practice loose. All right, little bits, like when I go around leaves. All right, and then I pull a stem in the middle. So loosey-goosey. All right, so practice that. Okay, I'm going to be sending this out and let you guys download it and watch it, and you can go back and watch it over and over. You don't even have to download it on YouTube. All right, so thank you. Have a great day. Take a deep breath, look up at the sunshine, and smile.